so here I will be sharing uh, in detail the documents required before arriving to Canada so as you can see the pre arrival documents here I have listed if you are fully vaccinated then you should present um, you should carry the proof the certificate that you will get before uh, entering to Canada you should take the print out of that and if you are not fully vaccinated then you need to give the proof of three night reservation into that uh, government uh, uh, hotels uh, as you already know that should be the authorized hotel and also you should carry the RT-PCR test that you should have taken within 72 hours prior to scheduled departure and that should be negative and as you know before the, the arrive can uh, you know about the application of arrive can you should fill it that is very mandatory before landing to Canada and that should be within 72 hours so don't, don't film like uh, three or four days ago it should be within 72 hours and you should take the print of that receipt arrive can receipt and uh, uh, any like travel document if you see you should have a valid passport and also a visa stamp over there and uh, that's it for travel and uh, if you are uh, need to show the authorization to study in Canada you should have a valid study permit if you are a returning student otherwise you can show like letter of introduction that you got while visa confirmation Th those who are coming for the first time and for academic documents like there are two three scenarios as you can see here so that has not uh, any program that uh, the scenario one is like if your program had not started and that is about to start in like one week or two weeks maybe so you should bring your letter of acceptance that you got from the college that is I'm telling only for academic documents and uh, and later uh, scenario two is like uh, you started your program from outside the Canada now you are coming to Canada to continue with the program yes like if you have completed your uh, few semester uh, back in your home country and you are coming to continue your study so your enroll enrollment later for that uh, next semester or if your program is co-op then co-op later and your achievements report here you can see the achievement report so achievement report like is the report card that you got from uh, like in your first semester or second semester that you can carry that you have uh, passed your first semester and you're coming to continue your second semester likewise and scenario third is like you started your program from overseas and completed one semester then you decide to pause your studies and proceed with your study at a later date. In this, in this also, the letter of acceptance in advance level means you are going to study in next uh, course. That for letter of accept acceptance and the achievement letter that you got or report got in your previous course or in your first semester. And scenario four is you completed one program and you are coming back to proceed with a second one. So the letter of acceptance for the second program and completion letter of the first program and achievement report of the first program. And this is not much of your worry here if you come for medical examination result. So if you are a student you should have gone through a medical examination for applying the visa so uh, e-medical information sheet as you can see here that uh, you can bring the photocopy of that and nothing else uh, for uh, a student I think here too so that that medical seat will work and financial document if you see tuition fee receipt that you paid for your course and bank statement like GIC and all or about GIC if you have uh, like any evidence like I have some savings that also you can see but it's not as a GIC and this uh, tuition fee receiver is much enough as you can any other document like if you think 
that may support or that will be much enough to carry like if you are a returning student you can show the evidence of your establishment residence and studying in canada was so in bank account of canadian banks if you are a returning returning student proof of rents bills and proof of address if you are having a driving license that also you can so so uh, simple not that much documents to carry and uh, yeah uh, don't forget to carry the vaccination certificate that is much important and you can take the screenshot of this the documentation which i have made okay uh, if any doubt you can comment i'll be happy to help you so that's it from my side don't forget to share and subscribe it will support a lot thanks